Hey, Desmond Du here. Today we're going to learn about arrays and write a simple expression for random layer positioning and as well as randomizing colors of this uh, of these layers. All right, let's get started. First of all, let's hit Command N to create a new composition. We're going to do full HD, 25 frames per second. Click OK. And I'm going to hit Command Y to create a new solid, and we're going to make it a square. So 1080 by 1080. Click OK. I'm going to press P on my layer to open up the position value. I'm going to hit Option on the stopwatch uh, to enter my expression. So we're going to create two variables, x and y. So x is equals to random bracket 0, 1920, oops, and then uh, semicolon, y is equals to random 0, 1080, semicolon. And then I'm gonna click when I click outside box, nothing's happening because uh, we didn't do anything yet. We just create two variables and uh, we're not putting these values into the position. So the position is a uh, value parameter, is actually an array. An array, you can think of it as a folder cont that can contain multiple uh, elements or values. Uh, so to create an so we have to input an array for uh, After Effects to evaluate the position. So let's type uh, a square bracket, type a square bracket, and put in our variable x comma y. Uh, the elements of an array is separated by commas. So if we have a uh, if this was a 3D layer and we have a z variable, we will put comma z. But for now, we just use x and y. Click outside the expression box, and you can see our uh, our layer has been randomly displaced. Let's reduce uh, the size of the of this box so we can see see it clearly. Uh, but the thing, what hap we have a problem here is that when you scrub through all these frames, it's like randomly jumping all over the place. This is because let's open up the expression again. Press double E. It's because as we uh, the expression is evaluating at every single frame. It's generating a random value for our two variables, x and y, at every time as it plays back. So to stop this from happening, we need to type in one more line of code. So let's type c random and then 0. 0 is the c, so it could be any number. It could be 5. And then we're going to type in true. All right, click outside of the... Of the expression box and you can see and if you scrub through the timeline you know it's just fixed the position this uh and but if you were to change true to false it, it's also um it it goes back to what we had before which is just jumping around uh you can also use instead of like zero uh, using true or false you can also type zero which is the same thing as false and if you type one it's, it's going to stay. So it's kind of like true or false, uh, represented by 0 and 1. It's called Boolean. All right. So uh, now that we have it fixed to 1, uh, we have randomized uh, this uh, position value and it's at a fixed value, we can Command D. Oops. Let me go back to Composition. Command D, and we can duplicate all these layers, and then they're all randomly displaced. Okay. So that's the first part of the, this tutorial. Um, now let's get to randomizing the colors. So let's delete all the duplicates and we're going to put in a fill uh, onto this layer. So go to Effects and Preset panel and type in Fill. We can just drop it onto our solid. Hold Option and click on the color stopwatch. And we're going to type in an expression again. So because uh, just like previously, we don't want it to flicker or like randomly uh, generate. We don't want it to gen uh, have the values jump all over the place. We have to type in seat random, and then the seat number we could could be fifty seven comma, and then we're gonna type in true semicolon, and then uh, so, so the semicolon is meant to in JavaScript is meant to separate lines of code. But I think in After Effects you don't really have to do it. Uh, so let's see. So the expression we're gonna type in is uh, because the color itself is an array containing R, G, B, and alpha, I believe. So we need to we can randomize array too. 
So we can ran we can type random bracket. I'm gonna create an array, zero, comma, zero, comma, zero, comma, zero. Alright, square bracket and then comma. We're gonna randomize randomize the value between zero and one. So we can press uh, type in square bracket again and one minus one minus one minus one and we can hit enter on our number pad. So if we hit Command D now, and you, uh, each layer is going to generate a random value, color value. And there we have it, you know, randomly positioned uh, layers and colored. Uh, I hope this has been helpful for you. To learn more about expression, you can go on to my website, docs.nosleepcreative. So I have in this docs no sleep creative, uh, it's actually my own wiki, wiki, wiki page. Uh, so if you go to extend script plus JavaScript, go to expression and snippet, what you have here is a, is a library of expression that I created and curated, you know, because uh, there's so much expressions to learn and sometimes I forget which ones to use. So I decided to just make a place where I can just uh, look at all the exp expression I've written and collected. It even comes with GIF. So you can uh, use it to your, you know, for your projects. All right. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and thank you for watching.